Hey y'all, Frog Toad here. And uh, no, this isn't necessarily about my desk, <laughs> but I am going to show you this. This is a mic stand. Anybody who's ever done any music uh, stuff will recognize it. Just a boom mic stand. And uh, there's my microphone. And right now, it's uh, it's actually the mic I'm using uh, to talk on the Yesu. But not only is it the mic stand I use, uh, you know, when I'm singing, playing guitar, and when I uh, when I talk on the shortwave radio, but I also kind of repurposed it a while back to um, take a tripod. And let me mess around with this and I'll show you. Well, let's do it this way. If you can see this piece right here, let me angle the mic, that's the spot that the mic actually goes into. All right, now I've got a piece of tape around that, so I'm not going to take the mic all the way out. But just so you know, this piece right here, the part that holds the microphone, screws onto the boom. This is another one of those pieces that I've done some modifications to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew this and put the other one on. I'll be right back. All right. So there you can see the mic. I just unscrewed it and its holder off of the boom because I put this new one on. And there is the Kodak PlaySport sitting in what's now uh, a, basically a homemade tripod. And all it is is a piece of aluminum that I put a, a 90 degree bend in, drilled a hole, put the original screw that came with the mic holder back through it, tightened it up real well, and then took a quarter 20 bolt, see the head of it's right here, drilled a hole, run the bolt up through with two nuts. Now the bottom nut stays tightened permanently. The top nut allows, I can back it all the way down to the bottom. When you screw the camera on, a quarter 20 is, I'm pretty sure it's quarter 20, is the standard size for all cameras. So you're just screwing it right on the same place that you know the factory gives you. So you screw the camera on and you basically want to, you can put it at any angle you want it to. Once you find out where you want it, let's put it, say we want to put it there, you just take this nut and run it up to the bottom of the camera and it tightens and holds the camera right there where you set it. Now, of course, because it articulates here, you can change that attitude of the camera pretty much anywhere you want. And because it tightens right here, and this is one long boom, you can loosen this and, of course, change the entire attitude of the whole thing. And what you'll see me use it for is I'll have it tilted like that. And because it's a boom, I can work. Let me get my finger out of the way of the lens. I can work down here with the camera out and facing down. And you don't have to worry about kicking the mic stand, kick, excuse the mic stand, kicking your tripod or having it in the way, and you can work right underneath the camera. And that's worked out for me. I have had this little rig pretty much, now well, since I started, several years. And uh, these mic stands, these, these boom mic stands, they can be had at pawn shops really cheap used. You don't have to be fancy, it just has to have all the parts. This, you know, you can use any bent piece of metal. Uh, the screws and all that, you know, I use stainless steel just because why not? Uh, I think that set me back, you know, a whole rip and maybe buck ten for the bolt and two stainless steel uh, nuts. And this, this is one of the best solutions I've ever seen for being able to film down on a flat surface 
when you're working down, show I don't know if you're showing guns, you're showing whatever, you can work right underneath it, and it puts the camera right in front of your mouth. So you get decent audio. I you know, I really recommend it. I like this system a lot. I can't. I don't think I'll ever be without one of these for videotaping. So that was my homemade idea for a uh, camera tripod made out of a boom mic stand. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for coming along for the ride, and uh, fair winds. We'll see you next time around.